Hello everyone and thanks for joining me for another video. In today's video I'll be painting a pop art style or stylized painting of Princess Leia, one of my all-time favorite movie characters. If you've seen some of my past videos you know I like to paint and draw more realistic type of artwork um, but on this particular day I was craving something different and I figured I would give it a try. I decided to use only black and white acrylic paint for this piece but for her eyes, I did end up using iridescent copper, um, which is a liquid tax color. Now you might be wondering how I came up with the reference drawing for this one. What I did was I went online and I found a picture that had some deep shadows and some bright lights, uh, something with a lot of contrast. Uh, then I used my cell phone software to manipulate it by changing the contrast a little bit and adding a filter. <clears throat> I think the filter for this one was called Charlie Chaplin. I have a um, Galaxy S7 and this was a free download, but you can easily use an iPhone or iPad and a filter that essentially posterizes the pictures for you. And although I am using the photo as a reference, I still do kind of inject a little bit of myself into the painting, use a little bit of creativity, and it would probably be a little bit more obvious if you were able to compare the painting with the reference photo. And then as far as transferring the reference photo onto your canvas, you can use whatever method um, is your favorite. Um, I like to use the grid method. <clears throat> but you can also freehand it or use a projector or use graphite paper. Um, I've also seen people uh, color the back of the reference photo with charcoal and transfer it over that way. So this was definitely an exercise in painting what you see, not what you think you see. For instance, when it came to painting the nose, I'm not actually painting a nose. What I'm painting is an abstract shape which makes up the shadow under her nose. The same thing for her lips. Um, I had to not think of them as lips, but rather just black shapes. And it was actually a lot of fun to force myself to think this way. I think that I can apply this way of thinking and these methods to realism as well because after all when you are painting you're simply painting shapes you're not trying to paint what you think that you're looking at so this was definitely a lot of fun um, I really hope that you guys find a picture that you like and practice painting this way. I really do think that it will help to improve your realism skills as well. Um, if anything, it's extremely relaxing and fun. So thanks again for watching. I hope to see you guys next time.